Hello and welcome to Automators. In this screen below, I am going to show you how I build and use my packing list in shortcuts to use in OmniFocus. You can modify this to use in any task and management application, or even just to create a PDF of your packing list for you. In my case, because I'm using OmniFocus, I like to assign a packing tag to everything with a little suitcase emoji. This allows me to have this tag on hold so that most of the time I won't see all of these tasks because really in my day-to-day -day life, I don't need to see that I need to pack 10 pairs of socks for my next trip or even the trip after that. What I then do is I take this tag off of hold when I'm ready to pack. So to start with in this shortcut, we have the tag or tags as it could be that are going to be added to every task. Now I say every task, it's almost every task because there is a little trick which I will get to in a moment. And then we build a dictionary. Now I am using set variable for this um, and get variable because it makes more sense to do so in this particular context. You can of course use magic variables which are the invisible variables that are automatically created by shortcuts. So I start by having an empty dictionary and then I go through and I have clothing and I simply create a text block and I type everything into this text block and then I split it and I add this split text to my dictionary with the name of whatever the list is. So in this case, it's clothing, which means that the text here gets turned into an array. Now an array is just an unordered list of items. Uh, as far as shortcuts or anything else is concerned. So that means that I've got, you know, skirts, t-shirts, socks, jeans, etc. And that's all added. So that I get my master list, which is my master packing list. I set my variable my dictionary value for clothing inside of it. And then I, I set my master list again just to make sure that everything's in there. Then I do the same with technology. Now with technology, I do have a little special option, which is several of these icons have got a battery emoji next to them. Now, the reason for this we will get to in a moment is that when you combine it, then you can extract a list of the things that you need to charge before your trip as well, which makes it very easy to remember that actually, yes, you probably do need to charge your headphones before you get on a long flight. So now I've done exactly the same thing again. I've got my variable. I've set my dictionary value to tech with my split list of all of the tech items. And I've set my variable for my master list. And then I choose from this. I get the sections to pack. And then I go through and I build my action groups. So each one of these turns into an action group in OmniFocus. That is just a task with a variety of subtasks. The clever part here is if I say if any of these items on this list contain a battery emoji, then I add it to my charge list. So then I just do the formatting, which is some indentation. I combine it. I add the uh, parent task name, and then I combine all that again. And then I go through and I collect my charge actions. So then I've got all of this, I've stuck everything back together, and that's it. That is task paper, which I can then add to OmniFocus. So I will run it to give you an example. So which do I need to pack? Well, for this example trip, I'm going to pack tech and clothing. And I'm going to add it to my sample project, which I've created for this. So now if we go back into OmniFocus, you can see that I have all of these packing items and then I've got all of these charge items as well. Now you can rename this, but what I'm going to show you how to do first, so I'm going to show you how to add an extra section to this so that you can do exactly what I've done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a comment. This makes it really easy for me to identify when sections stop and start. And I'm just going to call this one podcasting equipment. Now. In my text block, I'm going to add the list of podcasting equipment that I might need on a trip. And then I need to get my variable, which is going to be my master list. And then I am going to set my dictionary value. And in this case, I'm going to call it podcasting equipment as the key. That's the name. 
and then I forgot I need to add the split text in there and then I use that magic variable split text. So to do that I just tap the magic wand here in the bottom left and then I scroll back to tap on visual on that option. Then from here what I do is I, I set my dictionary value so now I need to set my variable and you might be wondering what why I'm doing this again. Um, that just means that when I grab my variable later here in my repeat section, then everything will work as expected. So now if I run it this time, so you can see I've got podcasting equipment as an option. Now I'm going to add this all to my sample project again. And if we pop back, then you can see I have podcasting equipment in my list this time. And that makes it very simple. Thank you for watching the ScreenFlow. To find out more about automating your travel, check out episode 17 of Automators. See you next time.